some of you thought I'm worthy enough of giving you book recommendations. Instead of giving you a bunch of books that you will not care about, I'll give you one writer instead. अगर आप BDSM, डी एस एम लॉडा लसन इस तरह के किसी चीज़ के फैन हैं दैन आई वुड रिकमेंड चेकिंग आउट खुशवंत सिंह इन स्टेड एंड द रीजन आई से दैट इज बिकॉज नो अदर राइटर इन इंडिया हैज द ओडेसिटी टू एक्सप्लेन सेक्स इन अ वे दैट खुशवंत सिंह हैज एज अ लेट ग्रेट सीख राइटर हीज अचीवमेंट इंक्लूड बुक्स लाइक डेली द सनसेट क्लब कंपनी वुमेन एंड सेक्स स्कॉट एंड स्कॉलरशिप अमंग मैनी अदर्स वन ऑफ हिज बुक्स हैव एन अकाउंट ऑफ द The life of an Indian phallus, a Indian lun, okay, and it goes something like this: At the age of three, you have a lul, right? It's that little peanut-shaped object that is usually blacker than the rest of your skin. And if you have a maid in your house, she plays with it like this. Oh, no, 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 right? <laughs> At the age of nine or ten, you you arrive at something called a lully, where if you have like a tough man in your house and you're like walking around naked, your papa will say, "Hey, lully, come on, kid." I don't know why I said that, but um, <laughs> my point is that um, you basically have like a semi-adult dick. Well, you have fantasies, but you can't really jack off at that point. And he's like, at the age of fourteen is when you get initiated into the world of. Uh, I says I think he just says something along the lines of youthful spurts of white glee when you are able to jack off and you're like ab main aadmi ban gaya right um and then and this is what he says when you turn 65 your lun uh, becomes a limpu and he writes exactly what it looks like <laughs> my point in describing this weirdly bizarre set of ideas around the indian dick is because where the fuck else did you hear that before who the fuck is able to take a slice of reality make it his own and put it back to you to in a way you're like oh shit that's so true i never thought about that um i don't think uh, many other writers have done a good job in explaining indian erotica and sexuality the way khushwan singh has is and the funny thing is doesn't have a social science degree is not a woke post modernist just an old sardar who used to love drinking scotch supposedly fucked his maid not really sure but one of his protagonists fucked his maid all the time and fucked his wife at night um hilariously funny on indian sexuality in fact there's one instance where he talks about um how um in the early i think the the erstwhile india that he was a part of how um indian sexuality was so repressed and you couldn't really have sex uh because households were segregated that meant that meant that men slept together and females slept on the other side of the house um you could only have sex in transit so he remembers this one time when he was traveling in a train and a newly wed uh, bride and groom come came inside the train and uh, as a good passenger he gave his berth to them because it was a lower berth right um and he says at night he was sleeping on the upper berth um he suddenly heard a shriek looked down lights were turned on then and he saw the pale buttocks of a man going inside his wife's freshly chafed vagina i don't know um and her langa upturned and her yellow face Uh, looking at his eyes in horror um because she was the one who screamed as her hymen ruptured right um and he talks about how uh, that's the only time they could really have sex and enjoy even enjoy something uh, like indian sexuality because they didn't have the luxury um of of um, having a sexual life and changing positions and all of that jazz so um i would recommend that th- this man is responsible for changing my life because i stole uh, uh one of these books from my parents library i think at the age of 11 and uh, i just became one of those kids who were like ye bada ganda aadmi ye dirty hai erotic hai but i proud to say i just i just became open to to uh, the the idea of uh, articulating indian sex both in its repressed form and its massively expressed form so one author that i would say you would check out you should check out um and fuck chetan bhagat and fuck durjoy dattas and all of those guys who say that all indian india is is a bunch of engineering love stories fuck that shit read kushwan singh instead i would say start off with the company women uh go to delhi afterward and finally end on the sunset club three great books uh, i hope this helps i'd be happy to give you a customized list of books next time uh if you like this video let me know dm me or just say fuck yeah in the comments thank you